Okay guys, how's it going? I'm sorry I have been MIA for a little while, but today I'm going to share with you why. Okay guys, so the last couple weeks I have been having a hard time. I have felt like I didn't want to do anything. I had zero motivation for anything. I haven't been able to sleep. I have been exhausted all the time during the day. I haven't wanted to eat. Nothing has sounded good. I literally, like anything that I really like to do, I haven't wanted to do absolutely anything. And then we left for Montana last week and on the drive I had like an anxiety attack. From the time we got on the road until we got to Pocatello, which is like two hours away, I was like white knuckled on the steering wheel, like completely alert of everything that was going on around me, but felt fuzzy and dizzy, and it was really scary. And when I got home and got back to Curtis, I tried to play like it wasn't a big deal, and then Last night, I got thinking that I have a lot of the symptoms of postpartum depression. And I think that that is what is going on. And I started diving into postpartum depression and what the effects of that are and what the symptoms are and I took a couple of quizzes. And it's very possible that I have a mild form of postpartum depression. Um, one in ten women have postpartum depression and actually probably more women do than are recognized because a lot of us just write it off. It doesn't have to be that you have had it with every pregnancy. This is my third pregnancy and this is the first time I have had anything like this happen. I am generally a very happy person. I am a go-getter. I like to do things. I like to be out and busy all the time. And so this was really, really weird for me. I knew that something was wrong. Some of the factors that can contribute to you being more likely to have postpartum depression can be if you are of Hispanic descent, if you had a traumatic birth experience, if you were unable to breastfeed or had trouble breastfeeding, if there were problems with your baby at the beginning, if you had gestational diabetes, if you have marital problems or issues, if you are a single mother, um, there are tons of other factors that play into having postpartum depression. And even if you don't have any of those factors, it doesn't mean that you don't have postpartum depression. If you are feeling sad or irritable or just feel off, it's worth it to talk to someone, and especially to talk to your doctor to make sure that you are being taken care of in the way that you need. Like I said, for me, it was a lack of sleep, and I had been kind of irritable and kind of off since the beginning, but it kind of culminated in this last couple weeks where I could not get myself to do anything. I could not get myself to vlog. I could not get myself to play with my kids. I could not get myself to make dinner. I didn't want to go and coach, which is something that I absolutely love. I didn't want to go to the gym. I didn't want to watch TV. I didn't want to flip through my phone. I didn't want to do anything except for to lay down and curl up with my baby and just lay there and do nothing, like absolutely nothing. And I knew that something was wrong. These are just my side effects. Some women experience much, much worse than this, where they experience hallucinations, they experience deep sadness, where they cry all the time. It can be in the form of you having feelings of wanting to harm yourself or others, and that isn't normal, and those ones are especially important to contact your doctor right away. Um, postpartum depression isn't anything to be ashamed of. Through my studies in school, I know that the issue with depression is, is that certain chemicals are not being created or taken up by your body and your brain. And I know that, but it's hard for me to be like, oh, there's something wrong with me. I need to get this taken care of before it gets worse. Why is this happening to me? why I'm fine, like why should this be happening, what is going on, like I can get through this, I don't need anyone's help, but 
it's better to go and talk to someone about it and get help for it than to keep suffering. Um, and I know that. And so I will be getting a hold of my doctor's office today and setting up an appointment to go and talk to him. I wanted to let you guys know that this is why I have been kind of MIA for the last couple weeks. Who knows when this vlog will go up, honestly. Um, I am feeling better and I don't have those feelings of harming myself or my baby. I just literally have zero drive and motivation to do anything right now and so it's been really hard. Um, thank you guys for your support. I am, I actually get sad. I really want to talk to you guys and be there on my channel because you guys are such a great support system and my community and my friends but I literally cannot get myself to get up and do it. So hopefully with talking to the doctor and seeing what is going on, I can get better and get back to being me. Um, love you guys. I hope that this helps anyone who has any thoughts or thinks that they may have as part of depression. I will keep you guys updated. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.